with great confidence in our caucus, I will not seek re-election to Democratic leadership in the next Congress. For me, the hours come for a new generation to lead the Democratic caucus that I so deeply respect. And I'm grateful that so many are ready and willing to shoulder this awesome responsibility. Welcome back into Wake Up America. After leading House Democrats for almost 20 years, Speaker Nancy Pelosi giving up the gavel. All three Democratic leaders announcing they will step down from their current leadership roles in January. This as Republican Kevin McCarthy gets ready to take over as Speaker. Joining us now, Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs, who challenged McCarthy for leadership earlier this week. Congressman, good morning. Great to have you back on. Great to be with you. Um, so take us through what happened between you and McCarthy earlier this week. Uh, a lot of Republicans were on your side of this thing. Did you, did you get what you wanted? Uh, do you think Kevin McCarthy is going to be somebody that's able to get 218 in January? Well, so what happened is uh, we have, the, we have the, an internal vote. It's a closed secret ballot. And um, basically, he got 188 votes. I got 31. And there were five or six others that voted against Kevin as well. So to get to get there, you need 218. That's kind of the magic number. Uh, I don't think he's going to get to 218. And I think if it's not going to be me, and we need to have a consensus candidate who's going to decentralize uh, authority and power away from leadership and put it back into the committee process and allow members to legislate as legislators. And that's that doesn't seem to be happening um, because we we kind of offered him up some rules that we thought would be interesting uh, literally a couple months ago. What, didn't what were those rules? Oh, oh, things that you would decentralize. So you would have a majority of the majority uh, to bring a bill to the floor. You would have a commit the committee process would be st strengthened and reinvigorated. You would uh, allow members to have uh, a say in determining who their leadership was, even in the committees. In other words, you would move this away uh, from the center. The other things like just are, which are normal good housekeeping. You would you would uh, eliminate the martial law rule, which basic which basically gets waived every time, so that members would have at least 72 hours to re read every piece of legislation that comes. Okay. And you would stop some of the suspension bills that come without any vote. With a lot of people don't realize this, there are bills that come with five or six members on the floor, because everybody else is flying in, and those are called suspensions. They'll vote them and they'll send them out over to the Senate with uh, and say that that you had effectively had a quorum. Got so it. It, it did stop. seem like stop. Congressman McCarthy was willing to play ball with regard to investigations. COVID origins, uh, Hunter Biden, that investigation getting off the ground yesterday, Jim Jordan, uh, James Comer uh, making some announcements there. Uh, so you're saying, just to be clear, you do not think Kevin McCarthy is speaker come early January. We're talking six weeks away. Yeah, I think that I think he's going to have a problem with those votes. Uh, and so... Uh, but doesn't that open the door for Democrats? because the margins are so slim in the House. I don't think it opens the door. We still have the majority. And basically, you can put together a coalition within the Republican Party for a consensus candidate. So for instance, I, I work very well with many of my more, more liberal members of our conference. We know what they want, and they know what we want. And basically, we, we could probably give you 10 or 15 items right now that we would agree on as a conference. Yeah. Um, that would be a very successful legislative session. And it doesn't have to be Kevin. So you had 31 votes on Monday. Are you right now working the phones, uh, trying to get more members to come over to your side? What we're, what we're trying to do right now is to find uh, a, a place where people will, can come to and say, look, this is where we want to be. And so um, we're, we're trying to work with anyone who will work with us uh, to, to see where we need to go. But don't forget here, it just takes three members of the Republican conference to to say no to Kevin, uh, to prevent Kevin. I mean, that's that's where we are. And and people say to me, well, we couldn't do it when we were in the minority. We couldn't yeah. make a change in leadership. I mean, we couldn't do it when, when if this was going to be a big red wave with 30 majority. So right. So they tell me we basically you can't ever change leadership. And yet I think that's what the American people want. Yeah, that's assuming David Valadeo and Lauren Boebert do hold on and win uh, their respective yeah. races. Six seats in the House still outstanding right now. Uh, we're, we're so tight on time. But just quickly, New York Times with a report yesterday, Democrats lost the midterms too. Uh, Nancy Pelosi, Steny Hoyer, James Clyburn, all stepping down yesterday. Uh, this is a pretty historic moment in the history of the House of Representatives. Just your reaction to no more Nancy. Well, uh Hopeful and optimistic, that makes me, number one. Number two, um, I think you're going to see younger 
uh, very skilled uh, Democrats come to their leadership front as well. And I, I you know, some of them I, I've watched, and I, and I suspect, you know, somebody like a Hakeem Jeffries, who is very talented and very smart, is going to come and and go forward for them. And uh, you, you know, they're yeah. they're they're a bunch. They're very hard left, but they're very talented. And, and, and quite a bit younger. Hakeem Jeffries is 52, Nancy's 82, so a 30-year age gap between the two leaders there. Uh, Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs, great having you back on. Come back and see us soon. Thank you. Thank you. All right. No crooked, crooked establishment. establishment. None of that twisting, twisting the truth. truth. No talking down don't to me. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. Don't tell me how to think. I trust Newsmax. Newsmax. They don't tell, tell me, me how, how to think. think. They let, let me decide. Newsmax. Real news. For real people.